General Hospital spoilers reveals that Willow and Michael's wedding is happening to everyone's blessing. Only Nina was very disappointed when she did not receive an invitation from Willow. Nina had hoped to be recognized by her daughter, but she was treated like that. Of course, Nina is not willing to be looked down on by Willow, which Carly is very happy and close to Willow. She is Willow's biological mother, but when Nina gets is to her estrangement, Nina couldn't stand it, so she thought of a way to get her anger out on Carly. Nina rethinks what Carly did in the past. It was Carly who concealed the existence of Nina's two biological daughters, first Nell, then Willow. Nina thinks Carly is a bad person, and she doesn't deserve to be happy. Nina has come up with a way to punish Carly, and it amazes everyone. Because right at Willow and Michael's wedding, an unexpected situation happened that caused everyone present to panic. Surely this event has nothing to do with Nina. Did Nina get drunk and mess around at Michael and Willow's wedding? It is also possible that Nina reported Carly's insider trading violation. Because that was the only way Nina could get revenge on Carly, she filed a complaint with the SEC. Finally, the SEC conducted an investigation into the relationship between Nina and Drew. They had real evidence, so they went to the wedding venue to arrest Carly. Nina successfully got her revenge on Carly, but wouldn't she care about the consequences she would have to take? Anyone can guess that Nina was the one who reported to the SEC. Nina used this evil trick to make her even worse in Willow's eyes. Elsewhere, Stella accidentally discovered Curtis and Marshall's DNA test. It turns out that Marshall and Curtis are not related by blood at all. It was Curtis who did the DNA test, and he certainly knew this for a long time. Curtis knows he's not Marshall's son, but why is he hiding from everyone, including Stella? Stella is Curtis's aunt. Even if Curtis doesn't want to share this with anyone, at least let her know. At first, when Marshall arrived in Port Charles, he wholeheartedly followed Curtis and asserted that he was Curtis's biological father. However, the DNA test results are the best evidence, so did Marshall lie to everyone, or did he not even know the truth himself? If Marshall is not Curtis's biological father, who is his biological father? Was it like in Curtis's memories that his biological father had actually died of a heart attack?